Naseers and Todos. Uh, we are now on the fourth day since the MNLF forces belonging to the Miswaring faction infiltrated six of the 98 barangays of the city inflicting damage not only to the lives and properties but to the economy of our beloved Zamboanga city. Yesterday, several incidents have transpired and these include a case of mistaken identity in Barangay San Roque, another incident of fire and ransacking of houses in Santa Barbara. There were reports, some of which are subjects of misinformation of some reinforcements coming and which are being addressed very seriously. Our military and police forces who are doing their best efforts to resolve the crisis are taking their lives to protect the innocent civilians for the love of God and country. We fully support their undertakings. What you occasionally see and hear from the areas of concern and immediate periphery are sporadic and intermittent exchange of gunfire. At 3 p.m. yesterday, government forces apprehended two suspects believed to be members of the MNLF breakaway group following an exchange of gunfire in Barangay Canelar. One of the suspects was wounded. Two others were arrested during follow-up operations. The imposition of curfew resumed smoothly last night with no significant violations. The CMC, with the support of the national government through Secretary Dinky Soliman, are properly being attended to. Another evacuation center is expected to open today due to mounting evacuees. Last night, I was able to talk to Chairman Moore Miswari, hoping that it would pave the way for a peaceful end of this crisis. What is of interest is that Chairman Miswari disowned the actions of Abir Malik, the leader of the hostage takers, with whom I communicated separately. I expressed my openness to continue communication with Ms. Wari as well as Malik to find a peaceful resolution of this conflict. I also dialogued with the ulamas and the religious sectors who are helping us with this concern. And to stop speculations on the condition of Father Michael Ufana, who is one of the hostages in Santa Catalina, I also talked with him over the phone and he says he is well. At this point, allow me to address the sectors of the community. To the business sector, groceries, pharmacies, gasoline stations, and other establishments in unaffected areas, please continue to sell supplies. Those in the commercial areas, if you decide not to open your stores, please open alternative stores in safer areas and help keep our city running. To the financial community, I have already written to the Banco Central of Filipinas, executives requesting that they find creative ways to open in unaffected areas and secure approval from your senior management offices so that our people can transact business as our people need additional supply of funds. The same call is issued to phone shop owners, operators, and remittance center, and the Banco Central respond, responded positively. Secretary Mar will give you more of this report. To the medical community, we request doctors and medical practitioners to please remain in hospitals because you are needed to serve patients and medical needs in these very trying times, and we commend and are grateful for your dedication. To all the barangay leaders, officials, and to the neighborhood leaders, like lawyers, accountants, business persons, and all others, organize yourself as one barangay emergency network group to secure your locals from rumors spreading around. Your neighbors and your community are looking after your leadership. In one of the texts I received, they said, one flag, one Philippines, and we will secure the city hall. To all the religious and spiritual leaders, please pray for the safety and well-being of hostages and to help end this very, very sad situation. And finally, 
I urge the hostage takers, please let go of all the hostages, specifically if you can, the elderly, the sick, the women, the children, and people with disabilities. If possible, all hostages. And let me assure our affected citizens that we have more than enough security and food in our shelters. I, as your mayor, together with the city and national officials, assure that we are in control of all sectors and that all your concerns are being responded to with all the resources of the city and the national government. Our heart goes out to the families of those who were killed and wounded in this spate of events. Vaya con Dios a todos. We now listen to Secretary Mar Rojas.